How about you, son? Infantry, sir. Good for you. Mobile infantry made me the man I am today. Dang. <laughs> uh, yo! Go! He Damn. got the double doozy. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sinta with the Intel, and you already know we got a bit of a treat because Jabby Koe is in the building. What's going down, Jabby? I am three sheets to the wind already. <laughs> we, so, we, we, we just watched Double Dragon together, so I'm a little bit faded. <laughs> yes, yes, and that is exactly why we are doing this. I'm calling this the Happy Hour Hits. We just got done watching Double Dragon on his channel, so please make sure you head on over to the Jabby Koei channel. Check that out, because it's going to be tons of lulls. And on it's this not one, the Jabby Koei channel, it's Cinepals. 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 Excuse me, you are absolutely right. Cinepals. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description so you can get to it very easily. We are going to be doing a little ditty that I consider to be one of the greatest beat movies of all time, and that is Starship Troopers. It has been... Decades since I've seen it. Have you seen this? Are you aware of this little show called Starship Troopers, Yabby? Uh, I've seen it a long time ago. I <laughs> vaguely recall it. The only reason I remember it is because I was a huge fan of StarCraft. Oh! There's like a scene in StarCraft, the game, that was modeled after Starship Troopers, which is when all the bugs are coming out of the ground and they're surrounded on all sides. Oh, okay. So I remember that. I remember a love scene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And which I stole. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember, basically. Like, <laughs> there's just this moment where he, he lifts up ladies old, old girl's shirt and he doesn't take it off all the way. And he's, yeah. it keeps, he keeps it over her eyes for a second. I'm like, <laughs> that's kinky. <laughs> that, that, that'll do. Look, I'm sure we're going to have yeah. a lot of fun recapping some of that old one. Make sure you stay to the very end because we're going to have a quick little breakdown of everything that we saw. So without any further ado, let's get started. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm I thought that said part. John is on I'm now for a part. second. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. They're doing their part. Are you? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. Service guarantees citizenship. So apparently this was like written from a book, allegedly? Or way. But this time we're ready. These effects are really good. Yeah, for back then. I mean, this came out in 1997. You said 97? 97, yes. Unlimited supply of I mean, it kind of looks like something that would of came off of the sci-fi channel, belt. like those asteroids. To ensure the safety of our solar <laughs> But overall, it's still working out. I I'm still impressed. Calling on, Big K for the It's an ugly planet. A bug planet. A bug planet. Hey, a bug planet. Oh, Where'd you drink it? <laughs> Oh. oh my lord. Gosh. Did, did I tell you Casper Van Dien followed me on Twitter for a little bit? Really? I don't know why. He yes. never told me. <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't know, that's our hero right there. <laughs> you know, I totally believe that's what's out there. Rico. Rico. Rico! Oh, he's in Robocop. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Ranch Oh, dude, he's like the B movie king. And impose the stability that has lasted his for generations uh, since. Michael Ironside, you know that's facts. the dude's name. But have I taught you anything of He was in Total Recall also. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had the biggest crush on this lady. Oh yeah, the Noxzema girl, that's what we used to call her. Denise Richards, man. Denise Richards, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. The city fathers of Hiroshima would say about that. You. Damn, put, oh. get your knob oh. off my shoulder, man. <laughs> that would mess me up. I don't know. This movie is filled with so much propaganda, if I remember Not right. <laughs> it's well, been so long since I've seen it. You in the ass. Ouch. Yo. God these, damn. Yo, she was fine back then. Fine. <laughs> Not here. Come on. Be like, stop following me. <laughs> We're going to kill him. Hey, not bad. That's supposed to be Rio de Janeiro, if I remember right. Right. Good job. Hold on. I want to talk to Marco. His sister's at fleet. You're so pretty. God damn. damn. Oh, dog. Talk about Look high school Duke flashbacks. Hazard, boy. Look at that. Neil Patrick oh. Harris. Damn, he put him all the way on blast. You can get 35% just by signing your name on the paper. What a dick. And then he did this that's, movie. That's all I knew him from yeah. besides this. Yeah. 
until he became legendary. Yeah. Marco's sister made pilots. So will you. I mean, imagine flying a half a million tons of starship. You got a nerves of steel. Uh oh. Humans like to think we are <laughs> a happy hour too. I'm afraid it just oh. isn't true. This oh. Yeah. Hold on. Did they say bug and we missed it? It reproduces Ugh. in fast. I'll do one just for you. Ugh. Ego has no fear, doesn't mm. know about death, and so is the perfect. Oh man, those are really good practical effects because that's really disgusting. That's like alien level. And interstellar travel. Ugh. Oh, what is that? Like, what did they use for that? That's crazy. Stupid. But their evolution stretches over millions of years. And now, you take this. They can <laughs> got it. Oh, gosh. What is that? Why are they using their bare hands? <laughs> Try another. So my psychic abilities are zero and I'm unlucky. Damn. Now luck's not a factor. No one really knows why some people are sensitive and some aren't. Is that a ferret? Oh yeah. That's why they do these kind of federal studies. Those are the stinkiest creatures. I had a ferret. His name was OG. Oh, shit. Loved him. Was it stinky? Oh yeah, absolutely. He was musty. Are you all right? Much better. No. I thought that was Bill Paxton for a second. <laughs> That's the second time we've said that about a, a character in a movie. All is fair, love and war. No, that's not true. Mm. That's a made up thing. <laughs> oh, bro, you gotta pay attention. Oh. Oh. Damn, and look at your homeboy. Is this what they modeled XFL after? Arena Football League, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He, he backing up. You know, you see the way he looked back at him? He's like, yeah, I got your girl. <laughs> Just throw me the ball, Diz. Ready, break. My man was macking his girl down in the middle of the game. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. What? <laughs> oh no. Is he gonna make it? Oh. Just barely. He's in there. It's over. <laughs> Yo, all this looks painful. That floor, that ball, none of that looks comfortable. Mm -mm. Trip to the outer rings. Zegama Beach. Zegama Beach. I don't think they ever disclose what year this is happening in. It's all settled. 2007. That's what they said? No. How feelings? He's like, yo, I got your girl. Oh, not at all. We won. Come on, Carmen. It's the last dance. <laughs> Let's go, Carmen. Stop looking at him, Carmen. <laughs> Eyes here, <Look>. Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra's going for pilot too. Don't be a whore. <laughs> Johnny and Nico. Are you jealous? Well, maybe. You don't have to be jealous. God damn it. Why are you leaving Castro Van Dien? Mm. Hey, hey, break it up, you two. There's a place. And look, look at the way she's looking at him. Look at what. Yo. I think. <laughs> and I'm going to do a Carmen. I'm going to go for federal service. Three little words. That's great. Three way. Carl and I are sandwiched. You're doing it all for the wrong reasons, homie. <laughs> all this, this man about to join, join the service over a girl. For not less than two years, and as much longer as may be required by the needs of the Federation. That's about right, the right level of enthusiasm for that. <laughs> it sounds real to me. What about you, son? Infantry, sir. Good for you. Mobile infantry made me the man I am today. Dang. <laughs> uh, yo! Go! He Damn. got the double doozy. Did you hit the triple it's Lindy? Triple. <laughs> triple. Let's make a vow. No matter what, we'll always be friends. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we'll be 
be millions of light years away from each other. But, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Look at this. You'll resign, and that's all there is to it. It may look bad, but if that's the worst you suffer, then that's fine. I won't quit. I'm telling you, you will. Dang. You walk out that door, you are cut off, young man. You understand me? All right, that's it. You are cut off. Johnny, why Dang. won't you change your mind? That is definitely the Hollywood Hills. I hope you don't ruin your life over some silly little girl who wants to look handsome in a uniform. Don't talk about Carmen that way. Johnny. Rich white kids always be cutting themselves off from their, <laughs> their, their papas. I don't need your money, Daddy. Hey, you know where that is? That's the LA Convention Center. Yes, it is. I'm sorry your parents were mad. Who cares? The Federation will give me everything I need for the next two years, right? <laughs> My dude, she is perfect. I mean, there's a reason why she got cast. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I love you. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> That's a Actually, oh, you know what? I don't think she was the, the, the Nyxima girl. Nyxima girl was somebody else. Get She's perfect. Off. She got the she pouty lips. You. She's so pouty. I love you. Fully automatic burrito. Who wants to hold it? You just giving a gun to a child. Look at this. Yo, are you for real? Every school kid knows. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's horrible. Directed no. quarantine zone. Too late. Ooh. They realized that Dantana Damn. had already been chosen by other colonists. Arachnids. That's pretty good. For practical effects, that's not bad. I mean, they definitely look like dummies, but still. Trouble is, you are not good enough the way you are. This is your side. Cheer up. I am your senior drill instructor, career sergeant Sim. Suck in that gun. Hmm. Oh, that's um uh, Gary Busey's son. No, that's not him. Gary Busey's son is in here, but that's not him. That's a Clancy Brown. Strike that. You don't rate that. No, right there. Never in my life. Oh, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of the cadets. I'm talking about him. That's Clancy Brown. Think I'm funny? Do I make you laugh? Do you think I'm a comedian, son? I'm sorry. That's uh, he's one of the SpongeBob characters. I forgot which one he is. He's Mr. Krabs. That's who it is. Mr. Krabs' the voice. Sir, yes, sir. See that armory? Run around it. Run, I said. Ah! Run, run. Yeah, but he looked just like his daddy, the kid that you're talking about that looked like uh, Boosie. Yeah, Gary Boosie. Yeah. Anytime you miss your mommy, quit. You sign for 1248, you grab your gear, you take a stroll down. Watch, Watch out, lane. lane. I remember that. <laughs> He's arguably one of the greatest drill sergeants of all time. Now. <laughs> They got what it takes to knock me down. Better than Full Metal Jacket? No, he's the, he's always going to be the goaded. Always. That dude. Sir, I heard it was the best, sir. It is the best. But what makes you think you're good enough? No, nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> well, that's the kind of guy who makes squad leader. That's my job you're talking about. You look just like your daddy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Damn. ow! Right on the back. Oh, I'm gonna need all that. Go on tap. It's gonna tap. Mm. Hey, yo, the way he kind of he kind of snickered at that a little bit. Yeah, that, guy, that guy in the far left looks just like the kid from in, um, Mr. Incredible with the Incredibles. <laughs> the older version of the little one that's fast. Yeah, he yeah. does. <laughs> Look, you see Sarge in the back just watching too. He's like, yeah, yeah. Let's see how this play. I guess you and me could be buddies. Look, look, look at Sergeant Beck. Everybody should have a friend like me. Come on, man. Back in the line, man. Back in the line. Back, 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 back. back. Oh! This dude right here who got his arm busted, he yeah. was in Dragon the Bruce Lee story. He was the racist who be ended up becoming Bruce Lee's, uh, one of Bruce Lee's first students. Ah! You are. I joined up to get out on my own and you had to tag along. Oh, that's why he smiled like that. You think I joined the look at your neck. You? you saying you didn't? <laughs> Put your hand on that wall. Oh no. Mm. The enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hand. <laughs> That's so. Medic. Medic. 
Boot's pretty tough. Sometimes I think I won't make it. But then I think about what you're doing and I try harder. Now I know oh, where James Cameron... Oh, come on, man. Stop. Now I know where, now I know where James Cameron got his inspiration in Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Orbit and five Ibanez. First one there gets to fly. You know what's something I do enjoy about this movie though, now that I'm watching it again for so long, like, the pacing is really good. Oh my god, I can't even think of it right now. Welcome to Star Tours. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like it. The old one before they you know before they, they revamped it. it all up? Yeah. yeah. Simulation my supervisors can never keep up. No, this isn't simulation anymore, so take her out easy. Cadet. Yes. I mean, it's better than, like, TV level, right? You know, it's not like we're what? watching, it's like, because... Farscape or anything like that, or... Oh, no! Oh, no! Ooh, oh. Three meters from object. That's how I feel when I parallel park. <laughs> Dude, I'm worried about that every day. <laughs> or the hell is that thing flexors. spinning in the background? And mine. Your career's in my hands. Oh, ho, ho. oh. Oh, that's, that's one way to put it. Dang, that thing goes all around the moon. Dang. It's like a Dyson sphere. Going in. Move. Uh. Dang. <laughs> they got annihilated. Man, they're defended. No way in. <laughs> Word. That was the move. That was, that was the move. <laughs> oh. He got two guns. Double <laughs> fisting. Hi, Johnny. I'm sorry I haven't written you sooner. But, uh, oh, Rico, really busy. you don't deserve yeah, that. They much. really got us going here. They must have made you squad leader by now. She was like, I'm gonna make sure you see all of this. Come to talk to me. See, all it takes is the love of a good woman. Mm -hmm. They're all watching. She's gonna break up with him. Isn't it beautiful? I love it out here. Dang, Casper Van Dien with that jawline. I'm like a superhero. Because. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna go career. I wanna command a ship of my own, and you know? I don't think that's gonna leave a lot of room for you and me, Johnny. Dang! She broke up with you over email. <laughs> Over a letter. <laughs> That's what they're called. Damn. Write me, right? Why? Damn. You just Write broke. Me so that I know we'll always be friends. Oh. Why do they mm. always want to be your friend after they rip your heart out? And go get faded, bro. A mini it's a, disc. It's a GameCube. It probably is. Well, no, maybe not then. Yeah, GameCube's around back then. Friends after they rip your guts out. You just said oh, it. As soon as you said it. <laughs> I think that I remember that, like somewhere in the back of my like. First fire team with me. Next team in ten seconds. Maximum score has been two eighty. I expect you to do better. How come whenever something goes wrong, it's always you breaking it? It must be because I'm big and dumb. Yeah, oh. His whole wig is out there. Oh. Rico, did you give the recruit Dang. permission to remove his helmet? Sir, yes, sir. Breckenridge reported a helmet malfunction, and I asked him to show it to me, sir. Are you rated to report? Hey, oh, hey, breaking bad. You realize he was in this? Sir, no, sir. Then why did you order your man to remove his helmet during a live fire exercise? Exercise. I wanted to win, sir. Hmm. Hey, she got the droopy look. All right. We'll try administrative punishment. What is that? <laughs> Prisoner! Oh, oh he, he need to do a little bit more chest day. <laughs> and he's sucking in. Yeah. I remember seeing this in the theater, right? <laughs> when it came out, I saw it in the theater. 
and during this scene, somebody screamed out, your name is Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you ever seen the movie Roots? And oh. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I was in Atlanta. And it was an all-black theater, but still, it was still funny as hell. <laughs> Just for some context. Administrative punishment. Mm, mm, mm. Ten lashes. Ten lashes. Let me carry out the sentence. Look at the brother. Like, mm. oh, that's a black. Mm. <laughs> Toby! <Yeah. laughs> Your name is Toby! <laughs> Thanks. You read my mind. Man over here, going across the stars with your girl, giving her coffee. It's more efficient this way. Three weeks aboard a starship, and you think that you can lick my naps? <laughs> Check it. Dude, your job. You no, know, I was talking with Captain Delaudier, and uh, <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Don't change the subject." Am I right? <laughs> you and me, huh? We're good together, Carmen. Mm, mm, mm. She's before you forgive her. Make sure, you, make sure you remember she gave him that face. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gravity field out there. Maybe that's why you don't go that direction. Mm. Gravity at 225 and rising. Report. Captain, we're in the path of an unidentified object moving toward us at high speed. Profile suggests an asteroid, ma'am. Well, that's not good. That look expensive. How many lives they lose? <laughs> I know. There's people on there like, ah! 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 <laughs> oh, look, the people. You can see people in the thing. Oh, that's crazy. I never noticed that the last time. Damage assessment. All's compromised. Lucky to be alive, ma'am. Luck didn't have anything to do with it. Have a hell of a flight team. A hell of a flight team that put us on the path to an asteroid. <laughs> really stinks you going. Yeah, well, the mobile infantry will just have to get along without me. I mean, I took them lashes and feel some kind of way. Well, I figured that kind of proves I don't have what it takes. Rico! Your call's going through. Take it there. Yo, know, you can't be talking to me casually after you done put the, the cat of nine tails on my That head. is the guy that whipped <laughs> yeah. him, right? <laughs> I mean, we it's on sight if I see you. <laughs> I don't talk like that. You just come on home. Talk things out. We love you, son. Oh my, what's that? Uh. This time of year? Sure is dark. Your transmission <laughs> has been terminated. AT&T, huh? Interference. Please try your call again. Nothing sus about that. <laughs> I guess context is everything. Because she, she said that to me, I, I, I'd i probably be turned on. <laughs> I'd be like confused. <laughs> Give me some goodbye loving. Devastation we are seeing is unparalleled. Judging from early estimates... Dang, 12 million wounded. And ruins. Is that Geneva? Goddamn bugs whacked us. Oh, bugs, you said it. <laughs> Goddamn bugs whacked us. Are you doing one or two sips? I'll take two, I ain't no punk. Ain't no punks here. Nothing lives in what was We were doing cold. two sips with a double dragon. That's true. Paradise. The double doozy. Oh, Johnny, it's us. Buenos Aires has been wiped off the earth. Dang, they said Buenos Aires is wiped off the earth. The Federal Council met moments ago and voted unanimously for mobilization to destroy the arachnid threat. Eight million dead. Is this your signature, Rico? Sir, yes it is, sir. Hey, hey, I ain't mad at that. Look like it to me. How does he know that was what that look meant? <laughs> what if that look meant? Get him out of here. <laughs> then... Hey, they killed the dog. The only good bug is a dead bug. Oh, oh the double-double. <laughs> I have to refill. Everyone's doing their part. Are you? We're looking at bugs. <laughs> that doesn't count, right? <laughs> Where the men and women of the Federal Armed Services prepare to attack. DXQ uplink on two. Ticonderoga. Where have I heard that before? I had to lose the hat when I'm off duty. Hi, Diz. Carmen? That curly hair, man. Oh, it's like fire! <laughs> <laughs> and it hits me and I uh, can't stop crying. Oh, yeah, that's right. All your peoples. Well, we're still alive. Gotta be happy about that. Everybody. You don't look very happy to see me. 
Why would I? You broke up with me, ho. Mm. I mean, I think what I did was probably the best thing for both of us. The best thing for you. Oh, Took look who my... strolls in. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's looking at him. <laughs> when you're trained to kill, it just doesn't pay to be polite. Mm. You got something to say about the mobile infantry? I think you heard me. Uh oh. Want to make something of it? I don't even know why you'd want to fight the mobile infantry. They're trained to fight <laughs> on the ground. Anybody hear that? Rank is not an issue here. Don't do this. Is she trying? She's trying to warn you, bro. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Oh. How come nobody blocks themselves in these in movies? <laughs> What if God was one of us? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Damn, he got him good. He's stuck in But yeah, but at the end of the day, look, look. He gonna win. Yeah. Death from God above. Hey, well, I got something that might hurt just a little bit more. Oh, yeah. That's that's a Sintel move right there. <laughs> what are you that's, talking about? That is such a Sintel move. I got something that'll hurt a little bit more. But shh, <laughs> that's exactly what you would do. How would you sully my good name that is, like that? That is your character. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we was all woohooing until that happened, huh? Shit just got real. This is a random reminder. Mm -hmm. Someone made a mistake. That's it. We're empty, man. Dang. So Evasive looked. maneuvers. Oh my god. So if you're being moved by the music that you're hearing, I just looked at Chat GPT and they said uh, the film score was composed by Basil uh, Palladarius, whatever his name is, who also composed the music from Conan the Barbarian and Robocop. So that just adds to the camp factor, right? Especially when you consider Robocop. So far. This movie's still holding up for it to be as old as it is. Yeah, no. <laughs> the time so far, it just feels like a story. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean the creature design isn't that bad. Like it's it's pretty decent for for the time. He just got portable nukes, which is just hilarious. Yo, they really mushroom clouded that bad boy. Follow me! Let's go! <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> Come Hail <on>! Mary! <laughs> New cover! Walk with me! Oh, that's when it got real. Oh! Dang! Dang! Dang, they only got so no you, kind of formation or nothing. Just stand and shoot like that. Okay. You see how many of them it took just to bring down one? So you never played StarCraft? What are we doing? A little uh, bit. I don't know. It's exactly like the creatures on StarCraft, huh? Yeah, because like those are basically like hydralisks. Ah. And you, you got a bunch of marines like against hydralisks, they don't stand a chance. Bro, you come far. You, you're stupid. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna need that leg. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Yo, she said, yo, I'm getting out of here. Yo, they throwing his body parts around. She really did. Oh. Mm. The person who runs always ends up getting messed up. Oh, the L is thick. Oh, you catching a super L. Nah, don't run. Don't run. Yeah. He was like, come here, I want you, I want to introduce you to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Dang, y'all retreated immediately. It ain't even been 10 minutes of combat. A bug planet. Oh, bug. Bug planet. You better get your drink. Oh, give me that. Oh, I'm live on TV too. Y'all need better weapons, man. That that little pea shooter ain't doing it. That ain't it. Oh. That's huge. Oh, he blew your whole leg out. That's all you can say about that. 10,000 dead in one hour. 100,000. Wow. Damn. Yo, how how you let some N6 that can't even get off the planet and lump you up like that? I thought we were smarter than the bugs. <laughs> bugs is like, go tell She said boys. bugs, smarter than the bugs. You're right. I thought we were smarter than the bugs. Dang, look at your leg, bro. I don't wanna. <laughs> Fish boy. Oh, double jeopardy. Can't get killed twice. <laughs> God, that drive me. That would drive me nuts. Mm. Roughnecks killed more bugs than any other outfit on Big K. Yeah, well, I hear their lieutenants are real nutbuster. Uh oh. Who's top kick? You want the job? Hey, Seth Gillum. I would. Dang. Just doing my part. In case y'all don't know Seth Gillum, he was uh, uh the preacher in The Walking Dead. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, it's your teacher. I only have one rule. Everyone fights, no one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll rules. shoot you. We get you, sir! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Fat cats, Roughnecks! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, we got a great intro. Before we hit Tango Gorilla. I believe him. Glasses the planet, MI mops up. Carry on. Mass tax rough man. That 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 lady that clocked uh Jake Busey in the face? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? I have no idea, but she she hit him with a one hit a quarter. We don't take prisoners. <laughs> Damn. When they shoot each other, you know, circle in a circle shooting it. I'm just saying. What do I know? You're right. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. No, not her. She had the meanest right hook in the business too. He was like, he's he is the one. <laughs> Grab onto that hole. Yeah. Put your gun in there. Oh, he's gonna go to grenade? Okay. Dang. That grenade is huge. Damn. Alright, OG. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll get you recognized. Nice. Okay. Nice moves. Where'd you learn how to do that, soldier? Back in school, sir. <laughs> I was captain of the team. Rico. Sir. I need a corporal. You're it until you're dead. Dang. I find somebody better. Okay. <laughs> That's a great line. You're it until I'm dead. Until I find somebody better. About this. First sergeant, get your... mm. Looks like I'm your girl, sir. <laughs> In more than one way. I don't know how you even, like, have the fucking focus to fight with all these <laughs> fine-ass people around. <laughs> I expect the best. I give the best. Fight an intergalactic battle. Show me to your nearest modeling agency. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I like Sarge. Come on, Corporal. Uh, no, I don't do that anymore. I remember when you used to dance. Come on. Do I have to pull rank? Oh, wait a minute. Never pass up a good thing. Hear that. Get your head out your ass. Your ass off your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Word. He ain't got to give me the look like that, though. You keep the look. <laughs> You're doing a lot with the look. Being the dude fucking creepy. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Hey, she threw him right on the bed. 
<laughs> there it is. Yeah. That's the move. That's the move. Dude, I'm tell I'm telling you, that's the fucking move. You do that, women go crazy. <laughs> in, in, <laughs> yeah, in the notes. right way. <laughs> I love you, Johnny. Damn. Oh, Whoa. Shit. Damn. I. Why would you. Right now? That's what, <laughs> that's what they do. That's yeah. how they do you in. Every time. That's how they do you in. High school flashbacks. That's how they do you. Moving out, there's been a distress call from General Owen on Planet B. So get your shit wired and report in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Who's that with you? Hey, man. You give me the order to have fun. <laughs> Make it 20 minutes. That's my dog. Make it 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty time. <laughs> it might take 20 minutes just to get her off. <laughs> oh, just in case you know they fly too. Dang. Snatch the homeboy off and dip. Sugar? Your what? Oh. Oh. Is he gonna shoot him? Rico, sir, you're acting sergeant. Move him out. Dang. You heard the lieutenant. Corporal to sergeant. They felt nothing about that. That was kept that's... it moving. Now if that outpost ain't ain't Halo, Halo jacked all of this. Well, no, what this this right here? This is what StarCraft stole. The StarCraft too. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy how much of an influence this one movie had. Here's this compound. Police these bodies. Yes, sir. Give me three! Up on the tower! Now! I'll be there! Those helmets look like they were a bitch to wear. Yeah, they keep like falling down in front of your eyes. Dirty bugs came in right while they are having chow. Dang. You got one extra back there who's got to stay there. Stay still. What's that look like to you, Rico? A Ugh. Ugh, it's still meaty. <sighs> Ugh. Sucked his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said a bug was in his brain, so you know what's up. <laughs> they said a bug? Mm -hmm. Officer on the deck! Yeah. Pick up the general. Fine. That's the general? We gotta get out of here! General! Sir! He pulled a Bill Paxson. That hole. Sir. I had to evade capture. The security of the Federation was at stake. Dang, the way he looked at you, man. Make you do things. They made Farley call headquarters. The distress call was a trap. They're just like us. They want to know what makes us tick. They want to know us so they can kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the general dog is wigging out. Oh, God! We're gonna die! Uh, <laughs> no, this is definitely Bill Paxton. Yo, Game no, over, man. Nobody can do it as good as Bill Paxton, though, though. So, so in StarCraft, when you play this, uh -huh. it's a 30-minute stage. You have 30 minutes you gotta survive against an onslaught. What? Yeah. I remember when what? I saw this in the theater, I thought this was one of the coolest moments that I had seen in a long time. Like, to render all of that back then, that's bananas, dog. That's really impressive. I think the last time I saw a scene this good was probably when they did Helm's Deep. Um... From uh, oh, the two and, towers. And two towers. Yeah. yeah. When you just see just that many people out there, and you're like, "Oh my god, somebody rendered that." Well, two towers had a lot of extras. Yeah. Oh Damn. goodness. Damn. Damn. You just saw what happened. Why did you not cut deck duck down? Oh. Damn. <laughs> He's like, hey, you, you want me to do? What do you want me to do? No, y'all don't. Look at this. This is crazy. Damn. It's like the bombs hit the flow. What's it called? World War Z. Yeah. Back in '97. <laughs> oh, it's all bad, bro. It's, it's all bad. <laughs> Yo, look at the stars. He's like. We good though. Go back into the compound. Dang. What, what happened to their nukes? Damn. Got him. 
That that armor ain't doing shit. Oh, dang, he caught you mid jump. Running low. I'm out. Here, make him count. Make him count. Yeah, I guess thousands of them out there. <laughs> Nobody backs up in this fucking movie. Like it's coming at you. Drop ship. Get out. Dude, this is giving me flashbacks of StarCraft. I want to just play it now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who pops out. Oh. Looking like a, a cleaned up Charlie Sheen. Oh. Oh, you got to shoot him. Oh, oh, here comes the line. Here comes the line. You know what to do. Oh, yo, you was a G though, man. You went out on his shield. Damn. Dang. She hit that like Aquafina in Shang-Chi. Just like, <laughs> right. A wink. Oh, they got the double double. Oh, oh the quadruple. You got the. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. yeah. They they ain't never gonna be the same no more. Damn. Oh, they fucked yeah, her up. Uh, yeah. God damn. Ain't none of that gonna ever be the same again. Really? That's I don't think that was the right move. No. They say when you get impaled on something, they never take it out, right? <laughs> they ran like they got shit in their ass. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> go go. Oh, oh man. Damn. That shit is dangerous. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Yo, they pulled a kick though. They was like, get your shit out of here. Johnny, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, you are. No, please don't ask me to kiss you. No. You're gonna be alright, dude. No, you ain't. It's alright. Because I got to have you. Damn. Get on the comm and tell Fleet to blast that rock. On whose authority, Corporal? That would be mine, sir. I assume command of the mission. Hey, she ain't even looked back. We have an official request by the mobile infantry to commence bombardment of Planet P. Yeah, he like, I'm, I'm all grown up. But a lot of my troopers are. Negative on your request, Ritter. The Sky Marshal has other plans for Planet P. The hell? Yeah. Am I just dying? Fleet just does the flying. Hold on, something's up. Fleet's mobilized for a big operation. Uh oh. Yeah, we done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My boy's back from the dead. I'm sorry, right? I just gotta, I gotta take this call. <laughs> Once, somebody asked me if I knew the difference between a citizen. Yo, she was the Betty. I, I, I feel bad for her character because she was the Betty. Denise Richards bounced so an good. opportunity for career, whereas the curly hair, she's like, no, you are my career. I'm, yeah. oh, I'll get in the muck with you. She was a soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like we, we're sick. going in the trench. We're going in the trenches together. No, she was the Betty. He clipped them heels, didn't he? <laughs> she was ride or die. Yo, you was a G bad. with it. That is. How are you, Carl? Carmen, good. Hey, his eyes all sunk in. Why does his head look so big? Elegant proof of intelligence, isn't it? Mm. I thought there might be a brain bug on P. You knew and you sent them anyway? We couldn't afford to launch an operation if. Is it just me? His head looks bigger. <laughs> a little bit. We're in this for the species, boys and girls. It's simple numbers. <laughs> he got some. He got some Crow Magnum going on. He been dragging his knuckles all day. He tired. He ain't trying to hear that. That's what the mobile infantry's good for. I hope you're ready for more. We're going back to P to capture that brain. Dang. The roughnecks are always ready, sir. I hear they need a new lieutenant. Want the job? I'll take it. Till I get killed or you find someone better. My man know he'd be there for the upgrades. Really, is the pay retroactive though? You know, just, just Take care of yourself, look, look, look at what she's looking at. He's like, nah, I'm out. Who are all these kids? 
We got reinforced. <laughs> Most of them are fresh out of boot. Or the old men, Ace. All those kids are at least in their 40s. <laughs> For all you new people. Today. I only have one rule. Everyone fights. No one quits. You don't do your job, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> we get you, sir! Welcome to the Roughneck. Rico's Roughnecks! <laughs> Oh, I should be having this much fun. We're looking for a bug no one's ever seen before. Some kind of smart bug. Yeah, they done said bug like six times already, eh? Ain't oh, a whole lot yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it probably knows we're coming. Travel up! Can you imagine if we did full shots? We'd be on the flow. <laughs> I've been priming myself, dude. <laughs> And the random spinny thing in the back. How has their ship not gotten hit yet? All I know is them, bu them bugs be giving, giving them the blues, boy. Five, four, star drive in five. Oh! Well, there's the answer to your question, man. Damn! Nothing left. Damn, yo! Oh you God. saw his face? <laughs> I feel like whoever the strategist is for the Air Force, they that person need to be fired. That's the second time they don't get lumped up. This is Roughneck 2-0. You're breaking up. Say again. Carmen? Carmen! <laughs> they really seeing that? No. That's a whole ass planet. That's There's no I'm way. Saying. You know who the odds are. That's like literally a needle in a haystack. They flew through a mountain. Yo, her neck must be made out of whatever the fucking Hulk is made out of. <laughs> That's why he holding it like that. He was like, you do. <laughs> like, the whiplash on that alone. Oh, it's a bad situation for you. The situation is extremely hostile. Damn. Oh man, they a rap. It's like 10 of them in there. How far is it? <laughs> Dang. Dang. Welcome to the meat wagon. Oh, oh you too. Dang, boy, it's like Game of Thrones in this bad boy. Anybody could get it. <laughs> what do you want to do? You heard the lieutenant. Rescue party. Come with me. My dude be in it. You know as well as I do, she's already dead. You heard the lieutenant. Sorry, buddy. Roughnecks. Let's. Yo, my man took that on the chin and kept it moving. Uh, why didn't they kill us? Uh. <laughs> Ugh. This is the heebie jeebie bugs. How far are they? It's a whole planet. <laughs> the way you said that. <laughs> it's like, I'm just, I'm just saying, man. You know what the odds are? A company's that way. Yeah. But Carmen's down there. Yeah, I hate to be rude, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> She's still alive. How do you know? I can feel it. You got command. We're going off mission. That's a serious offense. Yeah. I think they hang you for that. Dang. Roughneck 2-0. Proceed on mission. I need two volunteers. Yeah, I feel that. You know your homeboy making a terrible decision, but you're like, ah, I got you. <laughs> Their mouths just, they, those, that looks so scary. Oh, uh, you can't you can't introduce me to the dookie bug. I'm good. Oh no. No, just feed me to the other big bugs. Oh see. And no. No. <laughs>
Oh, it's gonna go for his head, isn't it? One day, someone like me is gonna kill you in your home. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh. 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 You know what this is? Sure you do. You're some kind of big, fat, smart bug, aren't you? This is Roughneck 2-0. Brain bug side moving west of Grid 5. Of course, of course. I was thinking, don't get the black guy. Uh, don't get the black guy. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Ah. It's just a flesh wound. Why can't you get back up? Oh my guy. Came here to kill some bugs, sir. <laughs> yeah, talk shit all the way out, man. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know how you outrun fire. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta suspend your disbelief a little bit for this one. He talked trash all the way out, though. I, whenever people are like outrunning fire, I'm like, it's fucking fire. <laughs> Have you seen an explosion? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty instantaneous. It's, it's, <laughs> these aren't DC characters, these are people. <laughs> Don't she need to seek medical attention? Like, she got ran like all the way through. Uh, come on, man. It's what you thinking, girl? Juicy. Uh. Uh. I look scared. It's afraid. It's afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you need to seek some medical help, girl. I feel like things might just work out. I hope you're right, Carmen. We've got one of their brains now. Pretty soon we'll know how they think. She just lost her dude. <laughs> she just shrugged it off. Yo, Anne got a gaping wound out of her chest. <laughs> and it wasn't the mighty fleet. It wasn't some fancy new weapon. Hey, look who it was. It was a drill instructor named Zim who captured a brain. Get him, Clancy Brown. Good job, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. That would be private, sir. Carry on, private. Yes, sir! <laughs> Wait, why does he get the credit? He's not the one that found it. Federal scientists are working around the clock to probe its secrets. Hey. Once we understand the bug, we will defeat it. Oh, golly. Oh, they're working it, too. Oh. Soldiers like Private Ace Levy and Lieutenant John Rico. Come on, you, you <laughs> Get him, Johnny Rico. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. I love that movie. It is fantastically B. <laughs> I, I thought it was this is this is great. I'm just like confused as to why they gave it to the reduced himself to being a private. Oh, uh, Mr. Clancy Brown. Yeah. I why? Know. I just don't understand. That 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 just confuses me. I'm like, yo, who put himself in the cave with two volunteers? <laughs> That's the dude who found it. Mr. Mr. Casper Van. Mr. Casper Van Dave. 
Mr. Mr. The Friendliest Ghost is the one that found him. <laughs> Why the fuck did that guy get the credit? Oh, you know what else I love about this movie, though, man? I love how anybody can get it. And like, and anybody could like <laughs> all bets are off outside of like Johnny Rico, and even he caught it. Like, we came back. You know, it's just it's it's just good. It's good propaganda. It's funny, super tongue and cheeky. But you know what? I but I do what I do appreciate is that it's 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 a B movie, but it's still quality. I wonder if it made any money. I don't know if it was. A, I, I know it was a hit once it got out of the theater and everybody just swarmed to it and started loving on it but i wonder if it made any money like the know, movie grossed 121 million dollars world a prox a budget of 105. okay so pretty much broke even <clears throat> yeah for the most despite part. not being a massive financial success during its theatrical release it found popularity through home media yeah and became a cult classic known for its satire and action sequences yeah <clears throat> despite it being a satire honestly like that movie moves like <laughs> It's just like if you just added a couple of moments of breathing, yeah. a couple of moments of like, yo, I'm hurt. <laughs> like, this would actually just be a regular move. You take out that bit at the end with the with the former sergeant guy being the the hero. Yeah. Which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I don't know what that's a what is that a commentary on? Like the it that has to be saying something about like the actual military of like the real heroes don't get the credit. Yeah. You know, like MacArthur gets all the credit during World War II, mm -hmm. but like it's all the soldiers that went into battle, the unnamed, the young, the, the kids that went into battle. Mm. Mm. Maybe that's the, I don't know what the, I don't know what the commentary is there. And from my understanding, it is based off of a book and the book is very, very satirical. Um, it's also supposed to like reflect a lot of like, and please correct me in the, in the comments if I'm wrong. From my understanding from friends of mine that have read the book, it's supposed to like reflect post-World War II issues. Um, Nazi Germany, because some of the some of the uniforms look very like SS, especially like with some of the officers and stuff. Uh, and there's just some weird warped kind of viewpoints. But what's really more interesting now is how like how that compares to today's standards and today's politics of how things are kind of like going on. This came out in 97. The book came out like years and years before, from my understanding as well. But what is the commentary? Uh, it's supposed to be satirical, so it's supposed to be like, this is how politics is kind of done. Let's kind of turn it on its head and then, you know, kind of like make fun of it. Like like a perfect example is like when you see like the propaganda films, right? And they're showing the kids and they're like, we're doing our part. And they're like stomping on the bugs, you know, and then the, and the soldier shows up to the park where the kids are playing and hands them the gun. <laughs> and then like the next, the next scene, he's like giving them the ammo to like play around with like as a toy. It's those kind of things. And the, the propaganda scenes when it comes to just like, you know, toying with the science of the military because there's like these, these rumors of how like, like Nazis started dealing with all kinds of like, you know, you've seen like the movie Hellboy, right? And they start and the Nazis are kind of like delving into like mystical, the mystics, the mystical kind of stuff. You know, those kind of rumors where, whereas this one, instead of it being that, they're talking about like psychic stuff. You know, there was like rumors that the Nazis kind of did stuff like that, you know, and then it takes a, it turns it kind of like on his head. It makes it kind of funny. Uh, also regarding how society is outlined in this movie, because you can't, you can't become a politician unless you serve. You can't get school educated unless you serve. Uh, and then the extreme case with the old girl that ends up shooting the dumb guy in the head and ends up walking out, she couldn't have a baby unless she served, you know? Mm. So it's kind of like you have to give of yourself to, to the military before you can earn the right to be called a citizen. You know, it's those, it's those kind of things. And there's a bunch of others. Of course, I'm just scratching the surface. Uh, let me yeah. know in the comments uh, with some I, of the things I, that I, I miss. I just asked, I asked ChatGPT, like, what is the message of Starship Troopers? And it's like, it gave me a whole dissertation. It's like, it says Starship Troopers is a complex film that conveys multiple messages through okay. its narrative and satirical approach. Here are some key themes. Satire and critique of militarism and fascism. The movie satire, satire is, satire. the movie satire is extreme militarism, fascism, and blind nationalism. Yeah. It, it presents a society where citizenship is earned through military service, emphasizing the glorification of war and the dehumanization of the enemy. It critiques the idea of unquestioning loyalty to the state and the manipulation of citizens through propaganda. Yeah, I said some of that. Some of that. But the, the, <laughs> the, thing, the, the thing about it is, I get that, but yeah. like at the same time, I'm like, but but that that enemy was brutal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, like 
<laughs> but the thing about it is the bugs attacked their planet they had to go and they had to go after them mm. yeah I, mean, I don't i don't know i'm sure i'm sure there's probably um I, like i said i hear i hear the book is a lot deeper than the movie and maybe the movie okay. just hits on some kind of like the surface the surface levels of all of this um I don't know. It says, irony of propaganda. The film uses propaganda clips interspersed throughout the story to mock and criticize the manipulation of public opinion. It highlights how media can be used to shape beliefs and attitudes, often presenting a distorted reality to serve a particular agenda. That's the thing is like, I feel like that went over my head a tiny bit because it's like obviously all the messaging and stuff like that, like the newsreels, mm -hmm. that's not lost on me. That's obviously creating a certain idea. Right. It's very, that's very clear. It's just that the idea of it being exaggerated to 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 manipulate my opinion as the public i'm like i don't know that felt pretty fucking one to one <laughs> it said these it said these people are it said these things are awful and they were awful like the bugs were awful yeah they they didn't they didn't have a moment where the bugs weren't awful and and the and the humans killed them anyway right well you know what i mean well, to, to kind of count out with Chad GPT again, it said uh, the book that Starship Troopers 97 is based on is also titled Starship Troopers. And it's a science fiction novel written by uh, blah, 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 blah. It was originally published in 1959. So there's, that's something to kind of like keep in the back of your head. Like this, the, it, it came out in 97, but the book came out, you know, in 1959. The world has changed drastically since the time the book was made to the time the movie came out. And the world has changed even more drastically since the time the movie has come out to, to where we are now. So yeah. it, 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 it just adds a little bit of just context as to what we're watching. Uh, it said uh, the movie yep. takes inspiration from the novel, but incorporates significant changes, including a more satirical and subversive tone compared to the source so, material so it says ambiguity of heroes and villains this is where it's losing me it says it challenges the notion of a cl of clear heroes and villains by blurring the lines between good humans and evil bugs it questions the righteousness of human actions while showing the moments of empathy and intelligence among among the enemy bugs i'm like when were the bugs empathetic towards humans at all in this movie they weren't that's that's where it's losing me. But you know what I think? I think I remember having this conversation before, and please correct me in chat if I'm wrong. I think in the book it said it, it nudges to the fact that we invaded their space, and then they replied mm. by by sending the asteroid to Earth. And then when they did all the when they blew up Buenos Aires and multiple other places, then we declared war and then went over there because we underestimated the enemy and then assumed that they were just these dumb bugs when they were actually pretty intelligent. I think. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. There, there. I, I'm guessing that there's some like key elements in the very beginning that I sh should have. You know what I mean? <laughs> but this is one of those movies. Like, I'm sure, like, it, it, it can get deep, and I'm sure it will. But this is, it's a B movie. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, what we did, we had, you know, a couple of couple of drinks, had some really good laughs, and we just enjoyed it for the surface level stuff. I don't yeah, think that 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 for me is that that's the enjoyment. Yeah, more than anything, it's, it's just that like. It's so close to just being a normal film, though. That's the that like because I knew going into it that I'm watching a satire, a, mil a military satire, or propaganda satire. But like I'm watching it, I'm like, it feels like the elements that would just make it not satire and just make it a normal film. It's like you're talking about maybe a couple of minutes of movie and then it's there. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like okay, so so you 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 remove the 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 newsreels okay. that want to see more, mm -hmm. want to see more, all that shit. You take that out. And you instead you put in moments of just like character development and you have a regular fucking movie mm. and it works and it, and it like it, i think it, it, it it's effective mm. but like the, the if the care if you just show the characters dealing with some shit like yo you know bobby who tried to steal my pussy <laughs> earlier in the movie <laughs> like he's he's dead <laughs> you know what i mean like even 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 pearl harbor had moments of like dealing with shit yeah before the movie was over yeah no that's true you know that's true but so, you know what though but but it, it, but to the film's credit like because of the pace is blinding fast like it a lot even for even for even quickly. for 97 even for 97 that movie moves at a yeah clip. man we, we just we just watched double dragon that was 90 minutes and that shit felt like two and a half hours <laughs> like this move it, it's like mm, mm, mm. and it's tough to to have any like strong character development when the pace is this quick but surprisingly you know like i felt like you know johnny johnny rico like we learned a lot about him we saw like we saw the growth of the the main three characters you know johnny rico um 
uh, Carmen and uh, Doogie Howser's character. Like they are totally different people from the time that they started. And there's no space where you question it, right? You don't question it. You've seen the growth and some of, yeah. and, and a lot of the side characters. So I think it did kind of like stick to what it's supposed to do regarding the <laughs> they are, It's just they, like this they, though. They, they are as different at the end of the movie from the beginning <laughs> as as Jared Leto and Jennifer Connelly and, and Marlon Wayans at the end of fucking oh, okay. uh, uh, Requiem for a yeah. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like, yeah. Totally different. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I kind of wanted to talk like... Like I think one of one of the bigger movies that I can think of that had a lot of influence on other pieces of pop culture and science fiction is the movie Aliens, right? Um, everything from the technology that they use, the things that's being said, to to making sci-fi a type of horror. There's something about this particular film too that bleeds into like like the regular pop culture lexicon. Like we've seen, like you you we I reference Halo a whole lot. You know, like the guns, uh, some of the weaponry. Um, I, you had mentioned something too that I referenced um, regarding um, the other video game, um, Star Starcraft. Starcraft. You know, like that. That to me is is a compliment beyond measure when when you influence other pieces of pop culture, and that's even not even necessarily in your medium. You know, that's a video game, and you, we gave two examples. It's, you don't really see a lot of other projects do that. Mm -hmm. I'm asking ChatGPT what Starcraft borrowed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, good. it's populating a whole thing right now. Okay. It says, um, Terran faction, the human f faction in StarCraft known as the Terrans, bear similarities to the futuristic human society depicted in Starship Troopers. Power armor. The concept of powered armored suits worn by soldiers in Starship Troopers likely influenced the design of Terran Marines uh, in StarCraft. Tone and aesthetics. The gritty militaristic tone and sci-fi aesthetics of Starship Troopers mm -hmm. may have influenced the overall atmosphere and visual style of Terran campaign of the Terran campaign in StarCraft. Uh, themes of warfare and struggle, mm. the themes of interstellar conflict, the challenges of war and the struggle for survival against formidable alien foes are prevalent in both Starship Troopers and StarCraft. Influence in storytelling, while, while not a direct adaptation, the general thematic elements of military hierarchy, space exploration, and confronting alien threats mm. might have indirectly influenced... What happened with my car? I think it's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> might have... Well, I, I have my backup, so it's fine. Okay. Um, uh, might have indirectly influenced the storytelling and world building building aspects of the Star StarCraft universe. Yeah, like um, all the like the clips and stuff like that. There is somewhat similar stuff at the end of of StarCraft. Okay. Yeah, of just like all the rallying together against the enemy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that that sort of bravado and attitude. You know, is definitely in StarCraft. Yeah. Um, to a confusing degree. It's just like, wait, what? I thought that guy was bad. Mm. And so there is that aspect of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, I love StarCraft. And so seeing stuff I recognize, it just, you know, it's a nostalgic feeling, yeah. you know, because StarCraft came out about the same time yeah. as this. Yeah, this, so, um, I, I like, I, I, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, this movie could have easily been terrible. Like, all it, all it would have taken was to make a bad decision to get a terrible a visual effects house to, to do this. And this movie is automatically terrible, you know. Mm. But I think that this movie, even though the story is is decent, it's not like a world breaking kind of story. But the visual effects like does a really good job of doing a lot of the heavy lifting, man. I think if the visual effects aren't as solid as it is, we don't enjoy this movie nowhere near as much. It was pretty amazing for 1997. Yeah, yeah. I, I was floored. And I think that a lot of that has to do with just using models because CGI is, it has a clear, I don't know how to put it, but like, a, what do you call it when you like test how old something is? Carbon dating? Yeah. Like CGI carbon dating is easier to identify from the eye. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can see when you watch something like from the early 2000s, like, oh, that feels like the early 2000s CGI or like the Matrix. When you watch the Matrix and you see CGI, it's like that feels like 1999. <laughs> Whereas carbon dating for to the human eye for for anything that uses props or or practical effects of any kind, like, you know, you watch the old Star Trek, the Enterprise TV show or even the original one with William Shatner. Mm -hmm. That shit actually doesn't look horrible for its time mm -hmm. because they're using actual physical uh, models mm -hmm. they didn't have cgi right they, you know what i mean yeah and so i i think that using actual models is way cooler because it holds up over time mm. the issue is it takes so much more time to craft mm. you know it's like it's it's way easier to put together 
of a CGI model of a spaceship yeah. than it is uh, an actual physical model. Yeah. So then have to bring that in and comp it and all that stuff. And that's what they did for Starship Troopers, as far as I can tell. And it looked fucking great. Yeah, yeah, it's so. just, it's, it's really surprising. Um, yo, I, I think uh, this is a good place to kind of stick a fork in it, man. Give me some closing thoughts and, and why you do your closing thoughts. Go ahead and let the people know how they can get in contact with you, man. Uh, I I watched this a long, long, long time ago. Barely remembered it. And so it was a great it was great to rewatch with you guys and Sintel. Um, I enjoyed it way more this time even if it didn't look like I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it way more this time around, and it actually made me appreciate this uh, in a way that I was not expecting to, honestly. Like, I was thinking, all right, this is going to be a B-movie, and I'm blah, blah, blah. you know? <laughs> the, the, uh, I, that's the ex experience I was expecting to have, but I actually have grown quite fond of this and would like to actually revisit it again, um, perhaps even buy it, just because I was, like, kind of floored at how at the quality of it all around. Yeah. Um, and perhaps re re revisiting it more to explore the satirical elements that kind of flew over my head would be a good use of time. So, yeah, overall, it was enjoyable. And um, if you guys want to follow me sober, <laughs> <laughs> youtube.com slash at Cinepals, C-I-N-E-P-A-L-S. Hey, man, thank you so much for your time. Don't worry if you didn't get all of that. There'll be a link in the description so you can get to it easy peasy. This, to me, is has always been one of those fun films. Uh, I don't think, I can't remember the last time I watched it from front to back. Uh, it's been probably a couple decades, at least a decade, uh, since I've watched it from, from the beginning to the end. And it's still just fun. And the good thing about this, and I think of just when it comes to art in general, is when you can have fun and enjoy it. And then if you really want to, you know, dig under the layers and get a little bit deeper, this is one of those projects that, that allows you to. It has that level of depth if you really want to. But if you want to just sit back and just have some fun and have a happy hour over it, uh, you, you can. I hope you all had a really good time. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with us. And if you've just been enjoying the conversation, just the way we chop it up, you go ahead and hit that subscription button. And of course, give me that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we giving you. And if you want to know real quick how to uh, to get onto the new hotness, hit that bell icon. Thank you for your time. And I'm going to holler at y'all in the comments. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Peace out. Peace.